What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video of my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Liz and I am happy to have you. As you can already tell by the title of this video, today I am going to be doing special effects makeup for Halloween, my favorite, favorite, favorite time of the year. Aside from Christmas, those are my two favorite holidays and I just love it. I'm literally born the day before Halloween, so specializing on the fact that it is Spooktober and this is going to be my one video for Halloween, I am going to show you guys the step-by-steps as how we're going to recreate create this look with this entire intro aside and you know about the 20 minutes of me freaking out in front of the camera that it's going to be Halloween soon <laughs> Let's get down to business. <laughs> so what you're gonna need for this look specifically is going to be cotton balls. It doesn't really matter which kind, but the jumbo cotton balls are gonna be the ones that work the best because we're gonna be separating them. You can find them at the 99 cent store for a dollar or something like that. It's that cheap. And then you're gonna need liquid latex, some fake blood, and paint. And if you guys have some contact lenses, that's gonna work too. I'm gonna show you guys some inspiration as to what look I'm gonna be going for. So let me just... Yeah, right there. This right here is gonna be the inspo of what I'm gonna be doing on my face. You're gonna need a paper plate and some sponges for the paint, you know? Paper plate, sponges, and yeah, that's basically it. You also are gonna need eyeshadow or color paint. You can use alcohol activated paints or water activated paints, it doesn't really matter. So first, what I'm gonna be doing is I have to put my hair up because y'all know this thing and go stay away from my face. All right, so we are ready. Hair is out of the face, and now we're gonna get all glammed up. I'm gonna be neutralizing the color of my lips with just some foundation I'm gonna be putting on. If I'm honest with you guys, I was procrastinating making this video because I am very busy with the whole moving thing. If you guys saw my previous video, you know that I announced that I'm gonna be moving to LA, and that is something that is super exciting for me. I have been packing, I have everything ready. This is going to be the last video that I'm gonna be filming here in this room because the next video that I film is gonna be over there in my new home. <laughs> okay, so now that you make yourself look like you're dehydrated AF, we are going to pour the liquid latex on here. You guys gotta be careful because this thing stinks. Liquid latex stinks real bad and you guys have to be really careful not to let the fumes get into your nose because that thing is not gonna be good for you. I did another look of a voodoo doll um, quite a few years back honestly and that thing was bad. It fumes everywhere. Luckily I had a uh, tape that was covering my nose that was at least masking the scent a little bit. Alright so we've got our latex right here. Now I'm gonna grab a sponge and a cotton ball. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear up the cotton ball like this. Grab the sponge, fatter side of the sponge. Grab some latex. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put latex on my top lip and I'm gonna put the cotton ball on top of that. So let's get started. Alrighty, voiceover time. So here what I was doing was I put a layer of latex and then a layer of cotton and then a layer of latex and cotton and latex again. So I did three layers I believe of latex and two of cotton and then once I was done with the top I moved on to the bottom and repeated the same process. Once I was finished with that I moved on to the little pieces of the melted part of the mouth and what I basically did was I tore up little pieces of cotton and I dab those into the latex and uh, combine them onto the top and bottom parts of the lips where I put a layer of latex and cotton on top of that really to blend in the edges so that it didn't seem like it was just several little pieces just put together and that is the process that I did for a good 20 minutes or so um, after I was finished with the whole application of everything I allowed it to dry and latex actually dries pretty yellowish so it'll be you'll be able to know it'll go from white to yellow and you'll be able to know when it's completely dry once that is already dry you go in with the foundation or any kind of color like you know BB cream or anything like that and you just dab it all up on there get up in there don't be scared it's the latex really dries really hard and the cotton doesn't get affected by the wetness of the foundation once that is all said and done and you're just dabbing it all in there and making sure that all the yellowish parts are covered with the foundation don't worry that the latex is gonna look like that because once we color it in it's going to change color and blend more into your skin so now what we're gonna do is go into the open area of the mouth and we are going to go in with the black paint it works better 
if we use a smaller brush than the one that I used on this video. Make sure that when you go in with the black paint, you don't touch the middle pieces or, or make sure that you actually move the little pieces aside so that you don't get a lot of black paint over it. Either ways, the messier the look, the better, but the black paint is set, is set there to give this look a bit of depth and make it seem like it's very deep in the skin. So you gotta be careful not to get black on the skin. If you do, however, mess up and put black on the skin like I did, you can just go back in with the foundation like I'm showing you here and reintroduce the color onto the center pieces. You will, however, once you dab it onto there, have to go back in with the black paint just to cover up the black area that you messed up because of the foundation. But after we are done and finally done with the center pieces and the pain of having to draw everything in black, we are going to go into the fun part. This is where we are going to go in and start doing the texturization of the skin and we're gonna go in with the red eyeshadow or you could use blush whatever works best for you and we're just gonna go and dab it all throughout the skin and make it look texturized so the trick that I use here is I tear up pieces of the sponge and I dab it onto the eyeshadow and then I put it on the skin and it'll cause it to be more texturized and more natural looking rather than if you were to use the regular square and not tear up the sponge you would be dabbing onto your face little squares and that is not something that you would want for a look that you want to use natural. So here the colors that I used were red, black, and green and, and purple. The green and the purple is used to make it look like uh, the skin has been rotting a little bit and it is decomposed. So yeah, you use that as a base. Make sure that your colors are not so bright. I realized that my color green and my color purple were really, really bright. So I had to go back in and make the skin look a little bit more like actual skin and not a green blob on my face so I used the red a little bit of brown and that was basically what I used I just dabbed I just went back in with the brush and a, and a sponge and that was basically what I did throughout the entire time and this is honestly the best part of the entire look it's the most fun to be honest so after spending a solid 10 minutes just on the coloring alone and trying to get the color of the skin to look exactly how we want it to and you know look all damaged and stuff like that like we have it right here we are just gonna look at ourselves yeah like that and we're just gonna decide whether we go into it with blood and once we do we are going to go into it with the scab blood and the scab blood is the one that honestly is a better option you could get normal regular liquid blood but I feel like it will be a lot more messy and it just won't look as good make sure not to go too crazy on the scab blood though because if you do you're just gonna to ruin all the work that you did with the painting and everything after randomly putting it on you're just gonna pat it with your finger and spread it all around you know just to make it a little bit more bloody and that's when we are done you're gonna admire how awesome you are because this look is finally done and yeah this is how I ended up looking uh, I, you can tell that I was playing around with it a little bit honestly the lighting really doesn't do it much justice considering that you can totally see my lips under there but on a regular night you won't be able to see it and this look will be gory and scary and it'll just look amazing you know if you don't have a light straight up in your face you can choose to have the look just be with your regular normal eyes or you could choose to wear contact lenses here I chose to actually wear my black sclera contact lenses and I simply just figured that they would pull the look together and just make it a touch more creepy and more dark than I actually was intending it to look but it was honestly what it needed I really absolutely love this look you can totally see that I am feeling myself here it does get the mask a little bit dirty because of the blood but it does wash off easily it doesn't stain or anything my eyes right here were killing me so I was gonna go and take them off after this but not without me playing around a little bit before then <laughs> I was giving some love to Lola, showing her off a little bit, and then she just came and tried to lick my face, so I had to put it down, and yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys are going to be for Halloween. Uh, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I mean it, hit the notification bell, and yeah. I love you guys. I will see you next time, and happy Halloween.